Should you dump your Western girlfriend and find a Filipina? Or even your Western wife? It depends on your circumstances, really. If your relationship is in a rut, going nowhere, and you're looking for new pastures and you're sure, your present relationship really is going nowhere, then why not? Now, if you're married, and it might be slightly trickier, if you're married with young kids, far more trickier. And I would think very carefully about ending that relationship unless you really find it necessary. If you're just in a humdrum relationship, whether you've been with a Western woman, your girlfriend that is, a couple of months, a couple of years, perhaps you argue the whole time, it's just going nowhere, you don't love her, perhaps she doesn't love you, you can't communicate any longer, the magic has gone out of that relationship and you're at a loss. You don't really want to find or go through the grind of looking for a new girlfriend in your own country. So why not try going on one of the Filipino dating sites and see what happens. Now you know I like to talk about myself. So I'm going to talk about myself again. So remember I said in 2006, I married a Filipina in Cebu City. <clears throat> At the time, I was living with an Italian girl. She was my girlfriend. We'd been together just over six years. Obviously, she was living in the UK. The relationship had soured, there were financial problems, and it ended. Six years, I suppose, was a, a decent run, but because of the financial problems we had, it ended. So before it ended, she, um, her father, from Italy was living with us, he was elderly. So it was me, <clears throat> me, her and her father. So it was on the ropes, the relationship, for about a year before it really ended. So maybe five months, maybe even six months before it officially was over, I started looking online for a Filipina and I found the Filipina I eventually married in Cebu City. So I'm still technically living with my Italian, but she's really my ex. We had decided to go our separate ways. It was just a question of her finding somewhere else to live with her father, me finding somewhere else to live. So I didn't really, I can't remember, I'm trying to think. I think I told her I was talking to a girl in the Philippines and I was going to the Philippines for three weeks. She was fine because the relationship was over. Like I said, we were just in the process of sorting out where we'd live separately after leaving the apartment we were renting. So I go to the Philippines for three weeks, I get married, I come back, I'm wearing my wedding ring She'd noticed but hadn't said anything, so after about two days I actually confessed. I got married over there, blah, blah, blah. She was fine. Um, or she seemed fine. And it was her that really had wanted to end the relationship more than me. Even though the relationship was souring. So um, I told her about me going to Philippines basically to get married 
Well, a little bit after that, maybe three, four weeks after that, she had found somewhere to live extra quickly. So her and her father went. I couldn't afford the rent of the apartment on my own at that time. So I stayed with a friend for a couple of months, three months I think it was before my wife was able to come into the UK, in which time I did find an apartment to rent. So as she came, we found an apartment or there was an apartment waiting for her. So there was kind of a situation of me still being with a girlfriend, even though she was quite clearly my ex-girlfriend. Like I say, it was her more keen than me to end it. I respected her wishes, but I was damned. I was damned if I was just going to sit there moping, feeling sorry for myself. You know, she was never going to come back. And I did what I thought was right and what I had to do. We kept in contact. She later did find somebody um, three years later, four years later, I think. We, we, like I said, we kept in contact four years later. She met somebody. She moved quite far away. The father had died, so it's just her. She got married. She didn't want children. And that was it. She's still with the same guy. I do recall when I used to speak to her on the phone a couple of years later, she did say, you got married, but you never asked me to get married, to marry me. And I said to her at the time, if you remember, we talked about it right at the beginning of our relationship. Then your father came to live with us. He was a little bit of a handful after a while. And I said, I didn't even think about it after that. Just the struggles of day-to-day -day living, work, um, and other things. So in the end, she found, I guess, what she wanted. And even though the girl from Cebu wasn't quite what I wanted, it would point me in the right direction, let's say, from, for some years later down the line. <clears throat> so, back to what I started with. Are you already in a relationship? Are you sick and tired of it? Is the relationship broken? Is it going nowhere? If it is, if all the boxes are ticked, then I would say no harm in trying, provided you're financially able to support marrying a Filipina and bringing her to your country, etc. And if the, if the answers are yeah, then do what you have to do. I did it to an extent. But I could have easily, easily had the relationship end with the Italian. Felt sorry for myself for a year or more. And I don't know, done nothing. Waited for a girl, an English girl to come along, the right one. Maybe still have been waiting. But I became proactive, even while I was still with the Italian. I never felt guilty because it was clearly, clearly 1000% over. We were going to go our separate ways before I even went on the Filipino dating site. I'd asked her three times if she'd consider trying again and she'd said no. So I was fine with what I did. Always remember, be proactive, not reactive. Being reactive gets you nowhere in the long term and the short term. 
being proactive just might, just might, that's all.